Within a microcontroller, there are many clocks which need to be generated. For example, there are high precision clocks required for serial communication links such as the USB and CAN. There are also high speed clocks such as the system clock, which is capable of operating up to 100 MHz, enabling high performance for the CPU, DMA, DTC, flash, and SRAM. And the external bus clock, which is capable of driving the external bus up to 50 MHz and needs to be designed for good signal integrity and low noise. The RTC clock operates at 32 kilohertz and needs to be optimized for low power. There are many other system-related clocks that need to be generated as well. The manner in which all of these clocks are generated directly affects overall system performance, power, noise, and cost. Let's take a look at the clock generation capabilities on the RX630 microcontroller. Clock generation begins with clock sources. The three most commonly used clock sources in microcontroller applications are on-chip oscillators, crystals, and resonators. And they are very different in terms of their cost, precision, and startup time. On-chip oscillators are very low cost as they are integrated into the microcontroller itself. However, on-chip oscillators are notorious for poor precision as their frequency varies greatly over temperature. Yet, on-chip oscillators offer fast startup times, which is useful in low-power applications. Many high-performance microcontroller applications will use an external 4 to 16 MHz crystal as the main clock source. This is because crystals offer excellent precision. Another reason to use crystals is for low power. There are 32 kHz crystals which have been optimized for low power. These crystals also offer excellent precision. External resonators are sometimes used instead of crystals in order to save cost, or more commonly to improve startup time in order to save power. The RX630 supports all three clock sources, giving embedded developers the flexibility to use the clock source which is best suited for their application. Let's see how. The RX630 has a main clock oscillator which uses an external 4 to 16 MHz crystal or resonator and can also take in an external clock signal up to 20 MHz. There is a second subclock oscillator which operates at 32 kHz and is optimized for low power operation. In addition, there are three internal on-chip oscillators. RX has the ability to monitor the main clock oscillator and in case of failure, will automatically switch to using the on-chip oscillator which adds safety protection. The phase lock loop or PLL has a frequency of 104 to 224 MHz. Users can configure each clock using a selector and a prescaler. It is also possible to turn off clocks which are not needed in order to save power and reduce noise. Let's consider three typical use cases. First, let's consider an application which uses USB. The USB interface needs a high precision clock source and therefore a main clock oscillator using an external crystal is normally used. In this case, since a main clock oscillator is present, it can be used to generate all the clocks required for all the other modules. Now let's consider a second case for a low cost application in which no external crystal is used. In this case, the high speed on-chip oscillator is used as the clock source and while it's capable of generating the clock for most of the modules, it does not have the precision required to generate the clock for the USB, CAN, LIN, and UART, which is fine as long as those modules are not used in the application. In a variation of this second case, let's consider a third case, wherein the key requirement is low power, and therefore an external 32 kHz crystal is needed. In this case, the external 32 kHz crystal can be used to calibrate the high-speed on-chip oscillator improving the precision enough to enable the use of CAN, LIN, and UART in the application. These are only three of many possible clock configurations, but you can start to see how the RX630's flexible clock generation capabilities allow the user to optimize performance, power, noise, and cost for their particular application.